Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we are going to be checking out everything that was added to the game through last night's data download on Global. Uh, before we get into it, a quick shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets as always. And uh, without further ado, let's pop down to the bottom here and start from the very beginning. So first things first, we got the assets for the next explosive chain battle boss on Global, which is Omega Shenron, and that should be starting in about, uh, it's currently the 8th, so about a week and a half from now. And we also got a new map for the 11th Infinite Dragon Ball History stage, which is going to be Shadow Dragons themed as well. So that's the uh, stage right there. We have the Extreme uh, Z Area event for the STR LR First Form Frieza, the Prime Battle Frieza, who is going to be getting his EZA in about a week, week and a half as well. There's the Extreme Z Awakening Medal. And uh, we also have the Extreme Z Awakening Medals for the Masked Saiyan, which is coming out tomorrow. There's the Bronze Medal, Silver Medal, Gold Medal, and the uh, Rainbow Medal. Um, this is the logo for the Extreme Z Battle event. And we also have the bosses who will be facing the Unawakened Masked Saiyan. And uh, here's a little cut in. And then we have the Awakened Masked Saiyan. And what else? Oh, the Awakenings for the Xenoverse characters. So here we have the Fizz Final Form Mira, along with his Super Attack line. And this is the uh, Untransformed Mira as well. And from there, we have our girl, Tech Toa's Awakening. And finally, there is the uh, Final Form Demigra. And we have Demigra as well. And lastly, oh, actually two more things, two more things. Okay, so this one is a legendary summon ticket, and it looks a little bit different from the other tickets we've had in the past, I think. At least, I don't remember seeing tickets that looked exactly like this. I could be wrong, I could be crazy, but I think this is a new design for the LR tickets that will be available in the Pilaf's Trove for the next uh, legendary summon banner on Global, which is going to be the LR Turles banner or LR Turles army banner dropping on February the 16th at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. All right, so if you guys were wondering what the next uh, summonable unit, next summonable LR on Global would be, we now have our answer. It's the LR Turles army. And that's pretty much it, guys, for this data download. A quick recap here we got the STR LR Turles army. There's the translated Xenoverse units, the Tech Mass Saiyan Extreme Z Battle, SDR LR First Form Frieza's Extreme Z Area Event, Infinite Dragon Ball History versus Shadow Dragons or Stage 11, and then Explosive Chain Battle Boss, Omega Shenron. And that is everything that this data download had to offer. Now before we go, let's quickly check out the details for the LR Turtles Army for anybody that is uh, unaware. And this unit is extremely extremely good like arguably better than tech lr jiren and i know that's a very strong statement but when you consider everything that this unit can do like the damage the defense the active skill the support the links all that stuff um yeah i would say that the lr team turles is slightly better than lr jiren and no i'm not just saying that because i got shafted by jiren and couldn't pull him um, we're just going off the cold, hard facts right now, okay? Trust me. Anyways, uh, let's talk about what Turles does, starting with the leader skill, which is Terrifying Conquerors, Category Q plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, or Extreme STR Types Q plus 4, HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. 12k Super causes colossal damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy, and the 18k Super raises attack for one turn, causes Mega Colossal damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy. Their passive is Attack and Defense plus 130%, Terrifying Conquerors category allies, Key plus 3, Attack and Defense plus 30%, and then Key plus 6, and Attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is stunned. Attacks effective against all types and high chance of launching an additional super attack when Key is 24. And the active skill, is Q plus 24 for one turn can be activated when HP is 60% or less or starting from the 8th turn from start of battle 
up to two times. So it essentially gives you a free 24 key super, which gives him attacks effective against all types and also the high chance of launching an additional super, right? And it can be used twice, which is something that is, I believe, unique to this active skill. I mean, I'm trying to think right now, and I don't think there's another active skill in the game right now that can be used more than one time, right? And uh, links are brutal beatdown, prepare for battle, big bad bosses, that's huge. There's for conquest, destroy of the universe, fierce battle, and legendary power. And categories are movie bosses, joint forces, terrifying conquerors, a final trump card, and space traveling warriors. So yeah, guys, like I said, this unit just does a lot, you know, like they hit really hard, they get a lot of defense, great support, attacks effective against all types, additional super attack, uh, amazing active skill that can be used up to two times, and there's not really anything bad to say about it. You know, like I know Turles for some people is not the most hype character, but as a unit, it's really, really good. So yeah, that's the next summonable LR coming to global, the LR Turles Army or Team Turles. And uh, the next thing we'll check out is the next explosive chain battle boss, which is this uh, Omega Shenron, which is coming, I believe, at the same time as the Turles. So the night of the 16th or the morning of the 17th, depending on your time zone. And the advantageous categories are Shadow Dragon Saga, Giant Ape Power, and Inhuman Deeds. And apparently there are only three or four effective or advantageous characters. I didn't know that, honestly, but Super Saiyan 4 Gogetas, the tech and int ones, the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and the free to play int Spirit Bomb GT Goku. And uh, I guess that's it for the super effective characters. Obviously, any character in these categories um, will be effective, but these guys are like extra effective, right? And usually there are, you know, just more characters to choose from. Like, as you can see, like for all these other chain battle bosses, like this one was kind of limited, but still it had more options. So uh, this is going to be interesting. I'm not exactly sure what the best setup would be for this specific boss um, in terms of like the super teams and the extreme teams, especially the extreme side, since we don't have any extreme advantageous characters. Maybe cells again could work. We'll have to see. I'll do some more research and uh, get back to you guys in a future video. But uh, after that, we have the new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. Uh, stage 11 versus Shadow Dragons, and of course we're just going through all the Shadow Dragons starting with Haze Shenron in the first stage. We got Rage, Oceanus, Naturon, Nova, Ice, Sin, and uh, Omega Shenron as the final boss. And that's pretty much it. Nothing really too different from the other um, Infinite Dragon Ball History stages. If you've done one of them, then you've pretty much done all of them just with, you know, different bosses. And uh, in terms of the missions, Let's uh, quickly look here. So the categories this time are Shadow Dragon Saga and Giant Ape Power. I'm sure you can you can definitely actually build a team with you know three characters from each category and clear all these missions in uh, one run. I mean, just bring three Super Saiyan fours and you'll be good to go, right? So uh, yeah, guys, that is today's video. That is the uh, latest data download on Global. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are excited for LR Turles. Like I said, I know not a lot of people are like super hyped for Turles cards, but this unit is fantastic. So even though I'm not gonna go super hard like I did for the uh, Jiren, I'm still probably gonna do like, I don't know, at least 500 stones. I do want the unit and who knows, I might get lucky and pull LR Jiren as well along the way, right? And uh, yeah, another big shout out to my boy Proton at 10MG. Tomorrow we will be doing a stream for the uh, Mass Saiyan Extreme Z Awakening, so make sure to tune in for that. And uh, oh, we're also going to be doing some prep for the First Form Frieza's release in about a week and a half, because I'm still a little bit behind on that. I still got to do a few EZAs. So uh, yeah, if you guys are in the same boat as me, then feel free to join in for that as well. And that's it, guys. That is today's video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. 
I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.